What up guys, your boy Quake, and the game isn't letting up off of Eminem or his fans. It looks like it's officially the game versus Eminem. If you weren't aware, the game appeared on Drink Champs and said that he's a better rapper than Eminem and that he would destroy him in a versus. Eminem is Eminem, and we, I like Eminem. He's one of the fucking good MCs, great MCs. He raps fella, you know what I'm saying? Ficky, Ficky, Ficky. He do all that shit, Eminem. I, and, and, and I used to think Eminem was better than me. What you saying right he now? He not. He not. He's not. Challenge. Game. Hey, hey, challenge it. Game, you don't want to go versus against him. Yes, I do. What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, I do. The fuck you mean? So what you trying to say? Hey, let's just say what you trying to say. You trying to say that I don't want to head on fade with the white man? No, I just want I just want to stay on some drama. That's all. I, <laughs> hey, it's not drama. Hey, you know what this is? Not drama, can I like, tell can yeah, I tell yeah. you what it is? Yeah. So you know how deep I go? Yeah. It's the bridge is over. The bridge is over. Mm. I'm, no, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm saying it's that same vibe. Yo, look, look, look. Hey. I'm not saying I want to smoke with Eminem. I'm saying I want to smoke with Eminem, him and him. Whoever. Bro, because niggas know. Like, like, I don't be... Again, I wasn't on Super Bowl because I'm not, I'm not the safe choice. Now, let's not get it twisted. The game feeling like he's the best rapper ever is how he's supposed to feel. Everyone should feel like they're the best at what they're doing. There's nothing wrong in that statement. But what the game has been doing now recently is going to cause some problems. Of course, after the game said that on Drink Champs, he faced a lot of backlash from Eminem fans, and he decided to address the Eminem fans on Instagram Live and basically doubled down on his comment that he is the best rapper ever. Yeah, Eminem is better and, you know, and all that shit. I see it. I see it. I feel you. And you know what? If you feel like Eminem is better than me, that's your opinion. Um, but it's a lot of people that feel like I'm better than Eminem, and that's their opinion. Um, me personally, um, nah, is Eminem better than me? Nah, he not, bro. And um, I think the best way to see if he is or if I am is yeah, let's rap about it. Let's get up. Let's get in the studio. Let's rap about it. Let's do something. Let's put something out. Let's let's see, because that's what this is, bro. It's rap. And for me, I really ain't never even really gave like really the just of who I am lyrically. I just been doing this shit because I'm skilled enough to do it. But as far as like some real lyricism, real hip hop, real get in the studio and you know take the gloves off and really get it in, like y'all be having me fucked up. I ain't gonna even lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all be having me all the way fucked. It's like, who? Like, what rapper is better than me? And even if even if a nigga, even if a rapper was better than me, why the f would I ever say that another man is better than me at anything in life? Nigga, I'm out here striving to be the best human that I can possibly be. The best rapper, the best father, the best friend. Eminem fans, though, do not care about what the game feels about himself. They say that... Eminem has sold way more albums than him, so he's the better rapper. Well, the game has decided to address those Eminem fans saying sales makes Eminem the better rapper on Twitter. The timing of this is crazy because Eminem just today earned his sixth diamond plaque, which is insane. The new certification is for his Curtain Call Hits album, which has been on the charts since its release in 2006. It actually went up the charts recently due to his Super Bowl performance. But they announced that Eminem is the most certified singles in RIA Gold and Platinum program history, which is crazy. He has 73.5 million new certifications, 227.5 million cumulative U.S. certifications, and has six diamond plaques, like I mentioned. That is crazy. There are only a few other artists that have more than three diamond plaques in the history of music since they started counting sales and after this announcement the game then decided to go on twitter and address basically fans saying that he's the goat because of this so the game went on twitter and said all this talk i see on the net saying eminem is better than me because he sold more records is like saying mcdonald's is better than tam's burgers it's false they just put more money in mcdonald's and promoted the sh out of the happy meal dangling toys in kids faces he continues and says this and i actually agree with some of this stuff and not all of it but he says this, continuing on, translation for those of you who don't know how major record companies do business. It's a machine designed to work for the artists who play nice in Massa's house. I was too real, too unapologetically black, and cut the puppet strings early on in my career and decided to rebel. 
major labels are known for buying albums and paying off everyone to boost sales of the artists they choose to shine the light on. If you ain't dancing to Massa's tune, you lose your budget and the machine is taken off your project and put to work on another artist who's willing to SD, which you guys know what that means, suck, you know what. A lot of y'all have no idea what goes on behind the doors of these labels. I've been front and center and have kept quiet about a lot of shit. Mainly because I don't care about it enough to take time out of my life to open this can of worms. But I'm tired of all the lies and bullshit propaganda they throw out here for fans to gobble up conspiracy smear campaigns and black balls been bouncing around this industry my entire career. I'm back outside and this tire sh** is about to get shook the F up. To successfully commend a GOAT approved by both fans in the industry, rap peers, executives, etc., you have to do exactly what they want you to do. Easy spoke out about it, he died. Tupac was vocal about everything, he died. Nipsey empowered the community, championed independence, he died. They only want you to believe in yourself to a certain extent. Soon as you start telling yourself you're better than their chosen one or challenge the machine, they start feeling the internet stats like I give a fuck how many records the next man sold how many records he sold you sold or i sold that's just numbers on paper and some little awards that ain't no bigger than my ymca trophies i don't give a fuck what songs eddie kane used to be able to sing get the fuck in that booth in real time today and let's f and rap and that ain't for m that's just for any rapper in the shit that been in this shit since i came that's dumb enough to think they can go war with me when i'm all the way in my bag Play with me this year. I'm taking your whole fan base, Chuck motherfucking Taylor, the bad seed. Now, there's a lot to unpack here. And with some of the stuff, I agree with game. The music industry can be manipulated and it can choose sides and choose favors. We've seen it quite a few times. We're actually seeing it right now with NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk, where when Lil Durk drops a project, it's all over Apple Music, Spotify, all over the front of the page, stuff like that. But then when NBA Youngboy drops a project, it's nowhere to be found. That's one example of today's time of how the music industry can manipulate things in the way that they want it. That's happened. It's been proven before. And sales can be manipulated. But I do definitely do not think Eminem sales are fake. There's proof that Eminem has sold those records. He actually sold them back when CDs were out and you actually had to go to stores and buy them. So that to me is, eh, I don't really believe that part of it. But in terms of speaking out towards the music industry, yeah, some people have had repercussions for that. A lot of people have been blackballed for that. Using Easy e Tupac, and Nipsey as an example. I don't know if that's a great example. Some of it is, especially with Tupac, some with Nipsey, and some with Easy. But I understand where Game is coming from when he's saying this stuff. Honestly, this sounds like a huge Kanye West influence of Game being around Kanye West. He's just kind of spewing what Kanye West has spewed really throughout most of his career and especially right now so it makes sense that game is saying that at this time but let me know what you guys think do you guys think the game is directly going at the music industry and saying hey eminem has fabricated sales they're not real they're just pushing him and that's why he's the goat or do you guys think game actually has a point in some of the things that he's saying now after this i definitely feel like eminem is going to respond in his own music whenever he gears up to drop a new album because now you're basically insinuating that Eminem sales aren't real, and that's disrespectful towards Eminem, of course. I'll keep my eye out if anything new comes out between Game and Eminem and their camps, and we'll keep our eye out and see if this escalates in any way. That's it for today's video. If you guys want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash diverse mentality. For just $3 a month, you can get my videos uncut and raw the way I intended them to be, but couldn't because of YouTube. Plus, you also get access to our Discord community, where we have a great community talking about hip hop and various other things. It's very dope. So only $3 a month, I'd really appreciate the support. Also follow us on social media at QuakeGW and at Diverse Mentality. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.